Apple just announced the App Store Awards for 2021. Since my channel is all about gaming on Apple products, I'm going to go over all the gaming awards. First, the top games for each platform. iPhone Game of the Year went to League of Legends Wild Rift from Riot Games. I, I think I agree with this one. Wild Rift is a fantastic mobile conversion of the full mobile on PC. It's been adapted for more casual gameplay, so it comes with a smaller champion roster, smaller maps, shorter fast-paced matches, rebuilt graphics from the ground up, an enemy lock system that auto-locks an enemy champion that players attack, and there is much, much more. I also love that the community here isn't as uh, uh, toxic as you'd find on PC in, in some cases. Next, iPad Game of the Year goes to Marvel Future Revolution from Netmarble Corporation. I get why Apple chose Marvel Future Revolution in some ways. It has console-worthy graphics, fun and fluid gameplay where you get to play as your favorite Marvel superheroes, and it has pro motion or 120 FPS support on recent iPad Pros. It also has pretty decent voice acting and cinematics, which is often rare for a free open world adventure or RPG game on mobile like this one. Personally, I, I would have gone with Definity Original Sin 2. That is the most advanced iPad or iOS game to date by far. Mac Game of the Year goes to Myst from Cyan. I could not agree more with this one. The original Myst was one of the most iconic puzzle adventure games in the 90s. I was only around five or so, and I was too young and impatient to beat the original game back in the day on my iMac G3. But I remember spending so many hours just walking around being immersed in the world and the music that was produced here. It's also a cool fact that the original game was only 3 megabytes in size at the time, which was a big deal back then. It also pushed the graphical possibilities of PowerPC Max, or any PC really, in the early 90s, and it ran using the HyperCard software. This 3D 2020 free roam remake of Myst pushes boundaries on modern Max 2. It runs on the ARM architecture for M1 base Max and supports 4K resolution on every single M1 configuration out there, which is really impressive. It also comes with AMD FSR 1.0 on Intel and M1 based Max. AMD FSR uses upscaling technologies to help boost frame rates in games, and Myst was the first Mac game to implement this technology on Mac. All these accomplishments should not be taken lightly for what is, uh, I would call, an indie gaming company. Apple TV Game of the Year goes to Space Marshals 3 from Pixel Byte. It's really great to see Apple showing some love for Apple TV, as it's a very underappreciated gaming console. Yes, it can be a gaming console. Most people don't even know that you can actually play games on this platform. Anyway, Space Marshals 3 is a great pick because it's a console quality shooter with an emphasis on stealth, tactical combat, and fluid physics. Space Marshals 3 plays great on Apple TV models, but shines on the recent Apple TV 4K with higher resolution support and 60 FPS. Full controller support and iCloud backup between the iPhone, iPad, and the M1 version is a nice touch too. Apple Arcade Game of the Year goes to Fantasian from Mistwalker. Again, a great, great pick from Apple. Fantasian takes elements from classic RPGs from the late 90s, or maybe the PS1 era, and adds in modern gameplay techniques. In particular, nearly 160 
handmade dioramas were created by the Mistwalker team and then 3D scanned into the game as background assets. Fantasian looks absolutely gorgeous, especially on Mac or an Apple TV due to their larger displays and improved resolution support. The game was in development for three years and you can see the amount of love and care that went into this game. It has a wonderful 60 plus hour RPG story, which is split into two parts. The turn-based combat is excellent and works great with either a touchscreen or controller, and the characters have so much depth and great writing to them. Alrighty, so Apple's next major award is Trend of the Year, which is Connection. The idea for this one is that an app brought people together in meaningful ways. In terms of gaming, Apple went with Among Us. I'd say this pick was because the game involves, you know, players trying out bite-sized matches that urge you to talk and listen to each other via banter, bluffing, and teamwork. I'm sure you know all about this game. Some fun facts. You guys have completed 72.2 billion tasks since the game launched. 23.3 billion games have ended by the imposter being voted out and one unicorn hat has been added this year. I don't know what that means though. Up next, the top five most downloaded games on the App Store in the US for 2021. First, top five free iPhone games. Among Us, Roblox, Project Makeover, Call of Duty Mobile, and Subway Surfers. Next, top five paid iPhone games. Minecraft, which makes sense. Balloons TD6, Heads Up, Plague Inc, and Monopoly. Now over to iPad. Top five free iPad games. Among Us, Roblox, Project Makeover, Phone Case DIY, and, and Subway Surfers. And top five paid iPad games. Minecraft, again. Balloons TD6, again. Geometry Dash, Monopoly, and Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I think this is a good way to showcase what type of games you guys are currently downloading on your iPhone and iPads, at least in the US. It's quite similar in Australia too. In my opinion, most of these top downloaded games are not, not a good example of what is really on offer through the App Store. And I try really hard on this channel to show what you can play if you follow me. I'm hoping next year with the release of more AAA games, coming to the App Store, like Alien Isolation in particular, that we'll start to see more of you guys downloading premium games on the App Store and not all of these suspicious freemium games. And last, top five Apple arcade games. The Oregon Trail, NBA 2K21 Arcade Edition, Sneaky Sasquatch, Sonic Racing, and SpongeBob Patty Pursuit. Look, Arcade is one of my favorite gaming platforms out there right now. While people tend to overlook it because it doesn't really have any AAA games, it has some of the most polished indie games out there and brings back the good old days of casual mobile gaming with no ads or in-app purchases. Plus, the ability to start playing on your iPhone and then get off it and go to your Mac or Apple TV and pick up exactly where you left off is just brilliant and a really overlooked feature. I think the past few months have been a bit stagnant for Arcade with all these classic games being brought to the service. Don't get me wrong, I love those games. But I'm hoping in 2022 that we'll start to get more original games with more genres that we saw during the service's first year and early 2021. So what do you think of the App Store Awards for 2021? In particular, the awards for games. What have been your top five most played games on the App Store. For me, it's 
Definity, Original Sin 2, Grid Autosport, XCOM 2, Oceanhorn 2, and Rocket League Sideswipe in 2021. Let me know your picks in the comments. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different for the channel, but still in the realm of, you know, what I produce here. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name's Dewey and thanks for watching.